Oh my god, those fucking centrists are at it again! They're not agreeing with me! Ah! So yeah, everybody, hey, guess what? It's another video about centrism. Why is it important? Well, because apparently they're the fucking devil, according to everybody. So let's start out with really trying to understand what centrism is. Centrism is effectively not buying into one of the two dog shit ideologies or their various factions that are on offer at the moment. So what does centrism mean? Well, it effectively means that while at the same time not buying into the left's notions that everything needs to be decided upon what color your skin is or where you put your genitals in what fashion, that at the same time one rejects the notion that traditional values are really important. That's right, it's almost as though it's a position which seeks to draw good ideas from whatever given ideologies, sides, and schools of thought it can find, while at the same time not being mindless fucking cheerleaders for them. Now, it is a funny thing to see centrism being bashed as hard as it is by both the extreme fringe left and right. One might hope that this would be a sign that the mainstream populace this meaning most people in society, aren't mindless sheep who just fall for simpleton ideas because clever or perhaps hmm, attractive presenters offer them up. This being all because Lee Camp has a lovely set of hair, or because Lauren Southern is quite fuckable, that either of these people have anything to say that is worth listening to. Now naturally a good centrist, if such a thing even exists, will listen to all of these voices and parse out for themselves what they find to be true and worth listening to. But with the given modern environment of media that we live in, in which one is expected to choose between the competing ideologies of apparently communism and Nazism, we can't really be surprised that a number of thinking people aren't too interested or keen in buying that line of shit or towing that particular line. To be certain, with the avatars and spokespeople for given ideologies themselves becoming increasingly, oh, fucking retarded. And these ranging from your Lauren Southerns and your Mike Cernoviches and your Paul Joseph Watsons and your Alex Joneses, up through your Cenk Ugers, your Jimmy Dores, your Rachel Maddows. The simple fact that people who reject orthodox ideologies or who perhaps oppose the thoughts and uh, propaganda espoused by the media pundits who come to embody these particular ideologies, it's rather fucking telling that this particular non-ideology is lambasted endlessly by those who are absolutely certain that they've found the real way forward. We as, well, skeptics. Oh, I fucking hate that word. Still, those who are skeptical are largely those who've taken, at least historically, to rejecting dog shit ideologies and dumb fuck ideas on the basis is that they are dog shit and dumb fuckery. This being the case, I'm almost forced to look back to Gamergate when the old Overton window is constantly trotted out to prove that it's not just a bunch of right-wing trolls. And yet all the same, with this being the case with this whole anti-SJW, anti-feminist, anti-leftist as it's referred to now, as this movement continued growing and moving forward, I can't help but be reminded of its roots. Those roots, of course, being opposing shitty ideas regardless of ideology. Oh, but it almost seems that we're well past that, aren't we? That's right. What is the big new free speech fight? Why, it's Alex Jones. I mean, forget the fact that YouTubers have been getting strikes against their channels and having their channels taken down for irrelevant shit uh, for a while now. 
Forget the fact that Facebook has been this censorious fucking nightmare for a long time. Forget the fact that Twitter's own verified system really does seem to have a very ideological lean to it, uh, really defied only when somebody's celebrity is too great. Forget the fact that Google is just fucking evil! Oh yeah, right now, all of a sudden, this dog shit merchant who happened to bring up a right-wing twink in his entourage. Now he's been banned from social media, and all of a sudden it's a big problem. And it's almost as though you're expected to pick a side. I support Alex Jones being banned because he had nothing but fake news. Them banning Alex is just another example of the Jewish globalist agenda which wants to put Muslims in every European country! Hey, I think Alex Jones being banned is uh, kind of a shitty thing, but I think he was kind of a shitty person, and I think his platform is dog shit too. You fucking communist! Fucking Nazi! You see how this is playing out? Can you see yet how it is the notion of not actually aligning yourself with a wholesale orthodox ideology, not being a sheep, not being a puppet, is actually appealing to some people? It's even funnier, though, too, because when you think about what it is that the opposition to centrism ultimately breaks down to, it fundamentally comes down to one primary thing. You're in line with the communists. You support Nazis. No, I don't do either of those things. I just think you're both kind of retarded. <gasps> Can you believe it? I know, he used the R word. No, I mean, he didn't use the N word. Who would want to use the N word other than a racist? What are you trying to trample my free speech? Free speech is a concept only Nazis love. Hi, I'd like to call people retarded and other things without everybody getting up there. Ah, fuck it, I don't care anymore. But yes, fundamentally, centrism is nothing more than rejecting the orthodox dogshit ideologies which are in high fashion between left and right and opting instead perhaps to think for yourself. Maybe you're left of center. Maybe you're right of center. But as long as you cling to that center, you can be sure that you're not flying off into the dogshit wing fringes which seem to unfortunately dominate our discourse today. If anybody out there talks about how poor debates are these days, about how shitty our communications are, about how fundamentally terrible our politics are altogether, and they in the same breath from left or right decide to tell you that centrists are the real problem, just tell them to go fuck themselves because they're clearly fucking morons. That's all for me. Thanks for watching this video. Become a patron and subscribe if you feel like it. What's the fucking point? This shit's dying. Hey, go back to your drama streams. You'll have more fun there.